Each year we try and work out what came first, the egg or the chicken. It's something the theologians try and work out every year, mostly at family dinners, and it doesn't seem to get resolved even the next time around. The same is the argument with the date of Christmas. Each year we blurt out to everyone that will listen, it's not the 25th, that's not when Jesus was really born. Based on pagan celebrations and the church was trying to assimilate to get the pagans to celebrate Christmas and to stop going from door to door singing in the nude. Yes, that really did happen. Not to mention it's winter. Guess singing the high notes would be made easier. Okay. Let's grab a warm coffee and let's get into it. There are many dates that have been proposed as the date of Jesus' birth. The Roman pagans celebrated the Dies Natalis Solus Invicti, or birthday of the unconquered sun. There was also the week-long festival of Saturnalia, which celebrated the passing of the winter solstice. This was where gift giving was introduced and yes, going house to house singing in the nude. Again, we are talking in the middle of winter. What are people thinking? There, of course, is the discussion that the Roman Christians at the time saw the celebrations and thought if they can replace these celebrations and, well, make them more wholesome, they can influence people to celebrate Jesus' birth and not the Roman gods. Now this sounds good in theory. However, when you get your ducks and chickens in a row, we realize this doesn't stack up. In 274 AD, the Roman Emperor Valerian declared December 25th the birthday of Sol Invictus, the unconquerable sun. The sun god was born of a virgin in a cave on December 25th, the winter solstice, and worshiped on Sunday the day of the conquering sun. Yes, you heard that right, born of a virgin in a cave. Now, in the year 202 AD, Saint Hippolytus wrote in a commentary on the book of Daniel that Jesus' birth is on December the 25th. And also in 221 AD, Julius Africanus wrote that Jesus was conceived on March 25th, nine months before his birth on December the 25th. Over the third century, the celebration of this grew and was uncontested in the early part of the fourth century. The celebration of the sun god wasn't instituted by Roman Emperor Aurelian until 274 AD, around 70 years after the fact, with Christians already celebrating the birth of Jesus firmly in place. The church is always stated as trying to influence the Roman pagan traditions and to try and make it Christianized. However, Evidence shows that it's the other way around. The Romans attempted to paganize the Christian celebrations. And here's the kicker. Christianity was persecuted from the Roman Emperor Nero in 64 AD through to the Emperor Constantine 313 AD, which is where the Edict of Milan was signed and the persecution was made no longer. The church had to still wait another 10 years for when it was made a state religion. So during the year 274 AD, the persecutions were still a happening thing. So suggesting that the Christians would have had any influence on the Roman pagan celebrations just doesn't add up. So where does this date come from with December the 25th in the first place? The rabbis believed that Jesus was conceived and died on the same day. They calculated that Jesus died on March the 25th, so this must have been his conception date. Adds nine months, we get December 25th for his birth. Interestingly, in the East, the tradition was that Jesus died on April the 6th, and add nine months, and we get January the 6th. There are some that would say that in the Christmas story, it talks about the shepherds watching their flocks by night. However, in the Northern Hemisphere, being the middle of winter and the fact that during these cold nights the shepherds would take their flocks under cover or a warm place means that December is not the month that Jesus was born. One thing is for sure, Jesus was born, he is a real person and evidence in and out of the Bible states that a person named Jesus the Messiah did exist. I really don't think the date of his birth really matters. What matters most is summed up in the most famous verse of them all, John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life.
Take care, Merry Christmas, and we'll catch you in the next one.